All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and review the Harbor Freight Daytona 4-ton, 8,000 pound maximum capacity floor jet. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and get this unboxed. I will say it's a couple specs here for you guys right off the front of the box. It's got a 20 and one quarter inch maximum lift height a four and one quarter minimum inch lift height, a premium wheel swivel casters for 360 degree mobility, 360 degree rotating jack saddle with a non-slip rubber pad. So right out of the box here, there shouldn't be any assembly. The only thing we have to assemble is the handle here. And look at that nice Daytona lettering on this nice, really padded handle. We're gonna go ahead and get the handle out. Now stay to the end of this video when I talk about why I got a four ton jack versus a three ton jack. I have a really good explanation as to why I did this. And look at this. It says, congratulations. You are now the proud owner of a professional heavy duty Daytona floor jack, the best value on the market. And they are not wrong. This is actually kind of cool, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. That's kind of cool. And here you go. This is right out of the box the Daytona 4-ton Harbor Freight floor jack. Now we're gonna go ahead and assemble our handle here, which again is very simple. It's just a little push button. And now when you go to install this here, there's a little bolt on the bottom that you take out for the handle. You slide your handle on in, and you put that bolt back in. Now they have a stopper. Take that out, and you're in business. Now what we are gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate how easy this ha how easy this works. You gotta twist the handle clockwise to lock your hydraulics so you can jack it up just like this. And then you're gonna go ahead and twist it counterclockwise to unlock it. Very, very simple, very, very simple. Now I must say, when it comes to this jack, it's a very simple ease of operation. It comes out very simple. You just take it out of the box, put the handle together, and you're ready to go just like that. Now I will say, it's very important to keep up with your maintenance on these type of jacks. The more you take care of them, the longer they're gonna last. Now in regards to why I decided to go with the four ton Harbor Freight Jack instead of the three ton, is simply put it, I'll use my work van as an example. My work van, fully loaded, weighs about 10,000 pounds, somewhere up to 10,300 10, pounds. Now when you get to that point, your vehicle's tires are balanced, your vehicle's weight is balanced on all four tires. So you split that load up very evenly. They're engineered for that. That's the reason why they like that way. Now when it comes to floor jacks, yes, a three ton floor jack will be able to lift, lift up the rear end of that truck, no problem at all. You know, you're gonna have, I think we weighed it on a scale one time, we roughly had about 5,300 pounds on the back end of our work van. And of course, a three ton jack is gonna get that done. Now just when you get that three ton jack and you put it up underneath there, that three ton jack is gonna have to work simply just a lot harder than the four ton jack would have to be. And that is why I got a four ton jack here, is because the more your, your, your tool or equipment has to work, the harder it has to work, the less the life it's gonna give you. Now if you upgrade to a bigger version of it, the less it has to work, the longer it's gonna last. Now I'm not saying the bigger is better always, but in this case, it just in fact is it just is a lot easier for the four ton jack to do the work that I have here I have used the two and a half ton jack I've used a three ton jack on this truck lifting it up like this I've also used a used Harbor Freight four ton jack with a broken piston didn't really work as good as the three ton jack but this one just did outstanding it was really easy it was very fast and it has a ton of reach make sure when you're looking at what jack you want to buy for your vehicle whether it's a car or a truck make sure you pay attention to your weight rating of your vehicle and say if you you do have like a van or a work utility truck that you have a lot of weight in it you definitely want to take that in account for what you're lifting up it is going to make a huge difference in like I said not just the amount of work that that jack goes through but also the amount of life that it lasts you so I hope you guys did enjoy my review on this Daytona 4 ton heavy-duty car jack from Harbor Freight make sure you go ahead and visit the link below and go ahead and check out these jacks from Harbor Freight I do want to write a quick disclaimer this is not a sponsored video from Harbor Freight this is my personal real-time opinion of how I feel about their jacks. I've had a lot of jacks, including the AC Delco ones throughout my life, and these ones by far are the best jack you can get, not only for the amount of money you put into it, but the amount of work that they actually do. So like I said, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more, and we'll see you guys in the next video.